Coming up in this Brightline Construction Update, This update looks at the progress in South Florida. Specifically, we'll take a look at the progress between Port Salerno and West Palm Beach, beginning with the area between Port Salerno and Hope Sound. Crews here are working on a short bridge over the North Manatee Waterway with pilings currently installed. At the South Manatee Waterway, it appears that the new bridge here is complete. Past the bridge, ties are laid and rail is attached. In this area, there was a track shift to broaden this curve. The Dixie Highway crossing has been double tracked and the new track is attached. At the CPC branch crossover, all the track has now been laid. The second track is in place here and is ballasted. This section still needs additional ballast dropped. The Osprey Street crossing has been rebuilt and has the new track attached on both sides. Near Crossrip Street, no rail has been attached to the ties. The crossing itself has been rebuilt and new intermediate signals are up next to it too. At Petway Street, rail is attached to the north side of the crossing, but not the south side yet. Another track shift was done here.
Bridge Road is the last cross in this area that needs to be double tracked. As of this recording, this is scheduled to take place the last week of October 2021. Ties are laid through Hobe Sound otherwise. Ties are now also south of Gleason Street. Next, we'll head into Jupiter to look at the Jupiter Drawbridge. At the staging area just north of the bridge, the shuttle wagon looks to finally be in use, moving materials around on a flat car. We'll now take a look at the bridge itself. All the preparations to build the temporary trestles and barges looks to be complete. This new structure will be the new bridge tender building with a space for the future bridge tender to work out of, and room to store supplies needed to maintain the bridge. The plan for this location is to essentially replace the whole bridge while it remains open for daily train service. The only thing that will be reused are the bridge piers. On this side, a crew is cutting down a piling that had been installed. These will be used during part of the replacement process. Out farther in the river, two other barges with cranes are staged until they are needed. All of these bridge spans will be replaced with one of the spans designed to increase the clearance underneath so more boats can pass under regardless of whether or not the drawbridge is up or down. In the distance here, you can see the large platform crews built to work off of. This bridge will be the last of the major projects to be completed in this area.
And here's the current view driving across the bridge. We'll finish looking at the section between Jupiter and West Palm Beach. This will be my final time looking at this area from a construction point of view. The section of track from here at the new CP Indian Town crossover to the new CP Lake Park crossover in Riviera Beach is now finished with both tracks in service. While I was in California filming at the Siemens factory, Crews completed the signal cutover and the final track adjustments, officially opening this section of track. Trains can now use either track and all the crossings are now fully operational with their upgrades. The CP New Haven crossover is now in use as well. The only work still going on in this area is that crews are working on the old main line, replacing ties as needed to ensure it is at the same standards as the new main line. North Lake Boulevard was one of the last areas to be upgraded but it too now has both tracks in service. The cutover of the signal system and double track opening. The cutover of the signal system and double track opening ended here at the CP Lake Park crossover, which is also now in use. The rest of the way into West Palm Beach already had double track before this project began. The last work in this area is finishing a third track that will be used by trains working at the Port of Palm Beach. Speaking of the Port of Palm Beach, their locomotive was out moving cars around at its interchange with the FEC. You can see work on that new third track here at 45th Street. And last but not least, here's hopefully my last time passing by a passengerless West Palm Beach station. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.